So fasting, you've probably heard the term, especially now with intermittent fasting being all the rage. Today we're talking about all the different ways there are to fast and our nutrition expert, Regina Toppleson, is here today to help us understand how it all works. Thanks for, for coming in. Thanks, Corey. Well, you know, fasting is not a new thing. Right. Yeah, it's uh, it's done with uh, it's been done for centuries for religious reasons or spiritual reasons, um, and even as part of ancient uh, medical systems like Ayurveda and traditional Chinese medicine. And there's different ways to fast when you're talking about like the benefit for the body. Yeah, so fasting is not only just avoidance of food; it's also limiting of food, and there are different ways to do it. So two types of intermittent fasting are either time restricted eating, where you do it like by your circadian them so and then you really um, you limit that to certain times of the day so like let's say from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. right so your first meal would be at 10 a.m. and then your last meal would be at 5 you could maybe have something in between but the hours between 6 and then 10 in the morning again is when you're fasting. Hmm. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Well, you're sleeping most of that time, right? right? Um, the other type of fasting, like you said, intermittent fasting is 5-2 fasting, which is eating regularly for five days out of the week and then fasting for two days out of the week. And they don't have to be consecutive days and they don't have to be the same days every week. Like all day not eat? For Correct. two of the days, oh man, that sounds hard. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, it's, uh, it, people do it. You can train yourself to do it right. and, and it works. Um, and then another type of fasting is calorie restricted eating. Okay. So it's not just about calories. It's also about restricting certain um, nutrients like protein and, um, and other nutrients, but still making sure that you're not getting malnourished. Okay. with that. So um, here we have a normal size of uh, pasta, serving of pasta. And you know what? I think at a restaurant you'd probably get double that. Oh, totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that one is 30% less. Hmm. And this would be okay for certain types of fasting, just kind of limiting the calories for the day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then a new thing that's come out uh, recently, very, very recently, and it's very exciting, is called Fasting Mimicking Diet. And it's, uh, it was developed over 20 years by a doctor, uh, Dr. Walter Longo at uh, University of Southern California. And it's a hack, basically, right? It tricks your body into believing that you're fasting, but you're, but you're actually still eating. Really? And it's really high Is quality it shakes food. And stuff? No, it's not shakes. There's um, there's soups. There's a couple bars, but there's olives. Really? Um, yeah, there's kale crackers. It's it's. Uh, I looked at the ingredients. High quality stuff. Are you going to put this information on our website? Absolutely. So that people can know a little bit more about it. And I'm actually doing a, a five day challenge. February 17th through the 21st. Um, anyone who wants to, to do it with me, just buy a kit. You know, you go on, um, I have a special Facebook group available that I'm gonna be checking in and helping people through it. Um, they All can get- try it together. Mm, absolutely. So don't give up on those health resolutions just yet. Don't give yes. up on yourself. Right? It's February. Keep going. Keep going. That's right.